inspired recipes. Today I will be preparing my famous pork tacos. Come and cook with me. As you can see here, I have some pork. And this is a part of the pig of the shoulder. And I asked my local market if they would cut it in chunks. Sometimes you can go in and they will have them already pre-wrapped and you can buy them in the package. But on yesterday, they didn't have them wrapped, so I asked them if they could cut them. Either you can ask your local market to do it or you can ask your local butcher to cut them in chunks. But that's a very meaty part of the pig. I am now going to take the pot and I'm going to create a marinade. I'm going to start with my ginger, fresh ginger. Ginger is one of my favorite ingredients and it's very good for the body. It's good for inflammation and it has this nice, sweet, spicy kick to it. And I'm just going to slice that in small chunks. It smells really good. It's fragrant. Now I have some shallops here. Shallops is a mild onion. It's not too strong. And it goes well in marinade. I'm not too concerned about how fine they are or how big they are because they're going to just sit on our pork for a certain amount of time. Don't be too fussy. As you can see, I have quite a few ingredients, but this is delicious. I've been making this pork quite some time for my family, and they really, really enjoy it. And I enjoy it as well. Okay, now our garlic. I love fresh garlic. This is another ingredient that's very good for inflammation in the body. It's good for clearing up any type of bad bacteria. It's good for your skin. It's good for the eyes. And it's good for your blood pressure. I am not a medical doctor. I am just someone that takes the time sometimes to read about ingredients and what they are good for concerning different parts of your body. And those are some of the things that I read that these ingredients are good for. The pressure, it lowers the pressure. It's good for um, colds, keeping colds away and it's good for inflammation in the body. 
your eyes, and your skin. Okay. It may look like a lot, but all of these ingredients are going to cook in our meat. I am now going to season our pork with some pepper, black pepper. This cut of the meat loves seasoning. It grabs it and holds it. And it sucks it all in. My, one, another one of my favorite is onion powder. It just brings such a good flavor to meats. I'm just going to take my hand. Not adding a whole lot of different seasoning because we have our marinade has plenty, plenty of flavor. flavor. Now on with the marinade. I'm going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. And this brings a lot of salt to the marinade. This ingredient is very good for the body as well. Rice wine vinegar. I'm just gonna not measure it. I'm just gonna add, I'll say about four tablespoons. For the nuttiness, sesame oil. Just a little. This is very potent. And you don't need a lot of it. Our Oscar sauce. Brings such nice, rich color to our marinade. Now this ingredient, oh. I am in love with star nut, star nuts. And they, look how it looks. It's shaped just like a star. It smells wonderful. And it's so good for stews and meats that you're going to cook for a long period of time. And it brings such a beautiful aroma and sweetness. Oh, it smells. I smell them already. I'm now going to add some honey. You can use any brand of honey, but this is pure honey. Mm. Brown sugar. And some olive oil. mix all of these ingredients together and let them get to know one another. Mm, smells so good. I'm going to now take my ingredient and pour it all over my fork. Let's get it inside of this baggie first. And then we'll pour the ingredients. Cooking is not something that is perfectly done. You're gonna make a little mistake here, a little mistake there, just fix it and keep moving. 
So I have now placed the pork inside of my plastic baggie and I'm going to add the marinade. All of this goodness, brown sugar, shallots, ginger, mm. so good. And this is going to stay into the refrigerator overnight. Now that our pork has been marinated overnight, with all of that good lusciousness, I'm going to add it to my Dutch oven. The ginger, Oh, the soy sauce. Look how nice that looks. And I'm going to add two cups of pineapple juice. And a cup of chicken broth. I can smell all of the different flavors. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to have some of it. Now that it's added to the Dutch oven, I am going to put it inside of a hot preheated oven for two hours. Our pork is now finished. Look how beautiful. Mm. If only you could smell what I smell right now. Here is our finished tacos. Look how beautiful they are. We have guac, we have cheese, pickled onions, we have sour cream. Mm. We are now going to enjoy ourselves. I thank everyone for cooking with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stay inspired.